Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to make Windows 7 look like Mac. Alright, um, first things first, um, make sure to make a restore point. If you don't know how on Windows 7, just go to your start menu, right click on computer, click on properties, and then after that click on advanced system settings on the left side, click on system protection, and just click on the create button and create a restore point, give it a name and it will automatically create it in case you have any problems. So yeah. So what this does, it does not harm your computer in case it does, that's why we made a restore point. So um, this transformation pack is the creators of the Windows Vesta transformation pack for Windows XP. Basically, um, it's not that great, but it's pretty much similar, it uses third party applications. So um, what it does is just changes your theme, gives you a background, changes your login screen, and gives you a dock. That's pretty much it, and they give you the cursor. Let's say I start up something, it gives the cursor loading, uh, loading bar a few of its icons. For Uh, make sure to create a restore point and give your personal opinion about this. Okay, um, to get it, I'll post this link in the description. Here it is. Oops, here it is. Just come here, scroll down, or and just click on Download Snow Transformation Pack. It should be here. Download it and just install it. It's basically a setup application. Okay, what it can do, it basically comes uh, with a simple dock called Rocket Dock. It's automatically installed and you can just open up Windows from here. By the way, in order to enable that, just right click on the dock, click on dock settings, and this one should pop up, click on general, and click on uh, minimize windows to dock. You can disable the minimize animations in case you don't like it. Let's say like that, and you just minimize, it goes instantly. But unless you want the minimize animation, if you have a good graphics card, it basically makes it comes out just like the Mac. The frame rate isn't that great, but it's pretty good. And if you have icons on your desktop and you want to get rid of them, just look for this program which is popping up. It's called Fences from Stardock. Basically, when you double click, it uh, removes your icons and you can double click. So, once you download the file, make sure to get Fences, by the way, if you don't want your icons on your desktop. Just simply right click on the WinZip file. It, you need a program to extract it. Go to winzip.com, rawlab.com, or 7zip. 7zip is free, so go ahead and get it. So, when you see this WinZip file, just basically right click on it, WinZip extract to here. You should get about three or two files, or possibly just one file. And just double click on the application. This window here should pop up. Click on Run. This should pop up. Basically, what you want to do with it is, um, yeah, wait for it to load. Um, don't check my that box unless you want to. You click on Next. I accept. Next. I don't have to follow you through this, so go ahead and do what you need to do. It'll ask you to restart the computer and go ahead. So it's pretty good. Um, it gives you a theme. It uh, brings your uh, taskbar to the top of your screen. Um, I wouldn't say it's 100% safe because um, I'm having Explorer EXE problems. So that's why I'm going to restore my computer. So um, 
that's basically it what you can do make sure you get a fences to d make your icons disappear I think it comes with a wallpaper and this is how your login screen will look like once you install it so as you see right now it's pretty much like that let's take a look at the dock uh, basically what it comes with uh, default is Safari but it's actually called Internet Explorer it's just an icon almost all the same things that are on Windows but you know what's better just get Ubuntu if you don't know what Ubuntu is go to Ubuntu.com it's basically more customizable and more stable than Windows I will make a tutorial on that but yeah this is basically it it's not the best but try it out yourself I just basically showed everything and sucks <laughs> but yeah if you want something to look like Mac get Ubuntu instead because it's just like Mac so enjoy guys Try it out. Please don't write this video down if you don't like it. Goodbye.